Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we want to drive? What is this? What do we want to drive today? We have the Aventador, the Murcielago, the Urus, the GTR, the 458, the Hummer, but I think it's a Ferrari kind of day, a V12 Ferrari kind of day, and today's video has been sponsored by Simply Safe. Now, a couple videos ago, I announced the V12 was dead and EVs were taking over the world. V12 ain't dead, boys. V12 is far from dead. Just imagine for one second the cutest, most adorable baby kitten purring on a cold winter's morning. That's what the Lucer sounds like. She has potential. V12 ain't dead. Not if I have a say. I realize you guys probably won't believe me, but I've been working out a lot. I have. I really have. Whew. You know, time and time and again, we mobbed the cars. We 6x6 the Gladiator. We did 1,500 horsepower on the Nissan GTR. But I would reckon the best mods we've ever done to any of the cars are frequency, intelligent exhaust, and yes, my neighbors, per usual, hi, hi. Obviously, we're putting the FI exhaust on the Lusso. Those clips are always so much fun to film, but then I look like an idiot picking up all my trash. I know, I'm a nine-year-old, but check out the new shorts. Aren't they dope? I'm always just so impressed and so is Oscar with the FI exhaust. Just the craftsmanship. I say we save the V12s, but honestly, Oscar, buddy, Oscar, wow, okay, he really likes the FI exhaust. Uh, I'm not saving the V12. FI exhaust is saving the V12. Isn't that right, Oscar? Isn't that right, bud? Yeah, you like that exhaust, don't you? That's a nice exhaust, <laughs> yeah. The car's gonna scare you soon, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, before I knock the stock exhaust too much for sounding absolutely atrocious, I have to provide a bit of a disclaimer. I realize the Lusso's not built for people like me, so all of our executives don't send me the cease and desist. Guys who drive Lusso's are like bankers and, and financiers. They don't wear chubby shorts. That being said, the exhaust, like, it really just doesn't sound that good. Now, just so you guys know, I'm not cheating the Lusso. 8,500? Okay, it, does, it doesn't sound bad. The car is not awful. We just, we strive for excellence as connoisseurs of NAV12s. We demand more, you know what I'm saying? It's not bad, it's not bad. But soon, it's gonna sound so good. Now, welcome here to Bentley Lamborghini of Salt Lake City. That McLaren GT, that color is so sick. And yes, if you guys are wondering, the Lamborghini dealership is installing the FI exhaust on the Ferrari. I know, I know it doesn't make sense, but these guys are the best in the business. Aventador, obviously, that's my Aventador. I just called out an Aventador and didn't realize it was my car. Look at the color on this GT3 RS. Wow, they are stacked here. The Skittle game. I think Lamborghini of Salt Lake City might be sponsored by Skittles. It's always so cool to see what they have here at Lamborghini of Salt Lake. Of course, we have the Diablo VT Roadster, and you can see the E-Type Jag there in the back too. So we have the FI exhaust. So Dagan's gonna work around the clock to remove that factory exhaust. You can see it right here. A quick moment of silence for the vacuum cleaner. All right, we're good. And from the GTC4 Lusso to you're never gonna guess, the Bentley Mosan, yet again, every car we're driving today, it, it just matches, it just makes sense. When you think of a Mosan driver, you think of me, right? I've been very fortunate to drive a lot of cool cars, but I've never driven a Bentley Mosan. Massive shout out to Lamborghini Bentley of Salt Lake City, Utah. Look at that front hood, like this thing is an absolute land yacht. I realize I make the neighbor jokes way too often, but at the end of the day, like we're driving through the neighborhood in a Bentley Mosan. I just feel so legit, like I feel so proper in this thing. I feel like a real estate tycoon, not a real estate investor, a tycoon, and there's a big difference, and I realize it doesn't seem like a big difference, but when you're in a Bentley Mosan, you're a tycoon. And if I didn't look like a 12 year old with pastel shorts on, they definitely would think I'm a mob boss. But because of the pastel shorts and I look like a 12 year old and I got linguine arms, they know I'm not. Now you guys might remember a couple videos ago, we got the Veyron wrap pink and chrome. It looks absolutely out of this world. We dropped off the wheels to be powder coated matte chrome at Envision. I just got confirmation the wheels are done and we can go pick up the car. So we're gonna do that shortly. But on that bombshell, I am excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Simply Safe. Now you guys know Simply Safe and you guys know I love Simply Safe. And that's because I use my Simply Safe home security system every single day. At some point during the day, I access the live feed from the Simply Cams on my cell phone to make sure Oscar's safe, the house is safe, the cars are safe, whatever it is that is important to you, let Simply Safe help protect. And you can get started with Simply Safe for less than $1 a day. That is half the cost of traditional home security, and there's no long term contracts, so you can start and stop whenever you'd like, and there's no hidden fees. Simply Safe is monitored by professionals 24 7. So, in the event of like a security breach or another emergency, the police, firefighters or EMTs will be called. And check this out guys, I personally installed my Simply Safe home security system myself in less than 30 minutes. And you guys know 
know, you guys know, I'm not some technical guru. I don't have to hire some crazy expensive professional. And I did it in less than 30 minutes and everything was delivered to my front door. I personally love the Simply Safe outdoor camera. We have their front doorbell camera, but I also have Simply Cams located throughout the entire house. And maybe the coolest part, I can access a live feed from all of these cameras at my fingertips on my cell phone from anywhere in the world. Obviously we have the camera covering the garage. And we also have the live feed for the front doorbell camera when FedEx, when UPS drops off a package, I get an alert, I know they're there. And the front outdoor camera shoots in a really wide 140 degree field of view. You can see it captures the Gladiator there on the second driveway while still getting the Hummer on the main driveway. It also shoots in 1080p HD resolution. And Simply Safe uses advanced response technology to confirm the threat is real to get help to you ASAP. You guys can save 20% on your Simply Safe home security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and the first month is free. All you gotta do is check out the link below or simply visit simplysafe.com slash Straban. Guys, protect yourself before it's too late, simplysafe.com slash Stradman. And she's back, baby. It's crazy how just a couple days away from the Varon, I forgot how obnoxious, how bright this new wrap is with the chrome and the momentum pink from KP Map. So we just got the wheels powder coated. I think it looks a lot better than the white wheels. It just ties in the design that much better. I would say the car is, is subtle. To say the very least, like nobody's gonna even notice me. No, how no. would they? We're just gonna blend right on in. I just feel like I have to apologize to people. Like everybody who drives up next to me, they just stare at the car dumbfounded. And I just wanna say like, I'm sorry for being obnoxious. Like I know I don't fit in. The crazy thing is like, you look at all the cars on the road and they're all just basic. They're, they're white and they're grays and they're black. And maybe there's a maroon. There's just no other chrome and pink cars. I just want a friend. I mean, the coincidence is unbelievable. We got the Barbie Jeep right there. I got a friend. Oh, that's a that's an FJ Cruiser. That thing is sick. Was that a Land Cruiser? Whatever it was. I'm a Barbie boy. Okay, I would sing the song, but obviously I have, an, I have a terrible voice, and I would be copyrighted. The more and more I look at this Veyron wrap, the more and more I like it. I kind of did it as a joke. I thought I might leave it on for a couple videos, but now that I see it here in the neighborhood, like it just it just like fits the vibe of the neighborhood. We might have to leave it on for a couple months. I'm also super excited to announce I finally made worst dot spec. So worst dot spec. It's the worst spec supercars and hypercars in the entire world, and we made it. If you've never made worse dot spec, you're not even trying. I realize I sound like a record player on repeat, but it looks out of this world. Like nothing looks like that. It looks so sick. It looks so good. Okay, so I can't stop looking at it. Like in the sun, the chrome is so reflective, it's almost blinding. If you guys remember a couple weeks back, I got a flat tire in the Veyron, so we also replaced all four tires. All four wheels got powder coated. We got the new Michelin 4S's. It's a new day. We're back, baby. Also, the Lusso, the exhaust is done, but I broke the Ferrari, the 458. Let me explain. It's really hard to explain what's going on with the 458. The check engine light is flashing, engine control system failure, go to dealer. There's like no power whatsoever. It wants to accelerate, but it won't accelerate. Catalytic converter temperature, not plausible go to dealer slowly. It's not that the temperature is too high or too low. It's not plausible. Warning, limited performance of the engine. Okay, like I said, the 458 is an absolute disaster. The Lusso is done and it sounds ridiculous. Let's hear it, Dagan. Couple baby, are, is sales gonna be okay? All the way, all the way. Oh, that sounds so good. Like I said, we are saving the V12s. Bro, you can do better than that. We can do what better. What are you doing? Let's hear it. <laughs> trying to sell cars okay people are trying to buy cars inside that's so good what? it just feels so good to be driving a v12 ferrari with a proper exhaust also my apologies to anybody who was looking to buy a brand new lamborghini or a bentley so we dropped off one ferrari and we're taking another ferrari home so we'll see the 458 someday maybe i don't know what? Let's go! Okay, it sounded good on a revving. That was like 15% throttle. Oh goodness. Once again, FI exhaust has completely transformed it. I'm on to So good! I legit feel so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel so bad. This car is so loud. This is not even the same car now. Wait, we're going. <laughs> All I want to do is full set. Go! <laughs> it's so good! It is so good! I am 
gonna go to jail. I am legit gonna go to jail in this car. 700 horsepower, all wheel drive, straight pipe, V12 Ferrari. It doesn't get, it doesn't get any better. Go. We're gonna close the valves. We are definitely gonna close the valves. The great thing is with the valves closed, this thing purrs like a kitten. And open again, quick downshift, quick downshift, go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, we have another cough right there in the side mirror. Just a little bit, go. Oh, yeah, a little shake and bake nation right there. That acceleration, that power slide was dedicated to all the EV drivers and to all the politicians who want to get rid of the V12. Moment of silence, highway patrol right there, literally highway patrol. <laughs> that was highway patrol, we're good. Window tent, we're good. Valves were still open, but I wasn't on the accelerator. Now you guys know Casey Draper, you guys know Johnny Sharp. These are our expert connoisseurs, Ooh, and yeah. Casey is yes. our revving engineer. Do you see this? Well, that's built for Dude, revving. look at your calves. How can you flex on me like that? That's right. You're going to get maximum potential out of this car. I want you to rev it like your life depends on it. Oh, yes. I can do life that. depends on it. Let's hear it. Is this okay? Ask, in your business park. Ask the owner. Is this okay, Lacey, in your business park? You don't wake up my kids. Where are your kids? At home. Oh, yeah. We, well. <laughs> It's been completely it's transformed. It's not a vacuum cleaner No, anymore. it's not. Oh my god. Dadmobile, you need one of these. Upgrade, yes. 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 Well, um, just approved. Hard Bodies Gym is now accepting more members because that's expensive. If you get enough members, you're gonna buy this car. Yeah, one million. Okay, done. I'm done. I don't know what else to really say. The fun factor on this Lusa has been exponentially increased. It's a front engine V12, all wheel drive, four seater that is now straight pipe. This thing sounds absolutely ridiculous. We have the V12 Ferrari, we have the V12 Aventador, we got the V12 Murcielago, the W16 Bugatti Veyron. I don't know if you guys heard, they're ending production on the W16. The V12 is gonna be over before we know it. All the good sounding cars are gonna be gone and it's just gonna be a bunch of quiet electric vehicles. That's emotional, I'm not crying, you're crying, but on that bombshell, yep, today's video is over. This is a very weird situation. We have the police right here, and this guy is going the wrong way. Um, um, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's just going on right there.